Hello, this is Mike Kaufman with EnviroGuard and GuardingOurEarth.com and uh, welcome to another uh, hopefully informative video regarding farming and gardening and fertilization and all those sort of issues. Um, as you can see this particular video is going to be in regard to increasing your cool season grass hay production and uh, we're going to cover one particular issue uh, in this video that I think a lot of hay growers uh, don't recognize uh, is an issue and one that may actually help them considerably increase uh, their production and uh, if you'd like to receive some more tips regarding increasing your hay production feel free of course to click the link at the bottom of this video uh, to head over to my blog and read the rest of this article related to this issue so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started with this video now, uh, hay growers and livestock owners often spend a great deal of time and effort working out the details of their fertilization and herbicide applications in order to maximize their yields. But often they are unaware of some very simple steps that can be taken to address such issues. And knowing these techniques and how they can benefit you can be a very good first step toward decreasing costs and increasing profits for your farm or your ranch. Now uh, the first topic that I would like to cover and the topic of this particular video is uh, roots, carbs, and improved hay yields. Now um, one simple way that uh, you can improve the yields from season to season and even cutting to cutting with cool season grasses is by not cutting those cool season grasses too short or not allowing your animals to graze those pastures too short. Um, cool season grasses typically store most of their carbohydrate reserves in the first three to four inches of stem above ground. So if you cut into this portion of the grass and bail it up or allow your animals to graze it down you are stealing those carbohydrate reserves from the grass thereby stunting its regrowth and slowing it down now since those extra carbs serve minimal nutritional purpose for the animals eating the hay and that extra couple of inches of grass does not significantly increase the overall yield pulled from the field on each cutting, you're really better off leaving those stubs so that the grass has the carbs it needs for quick regrowth following a cutting or faster green up and growth in the spring. Believe it or not, you can actually stall your spring green up by two to four weeks by cutting your hay too short at the end of the previous season. This is because those carbohydrate reserves are needed for root regrowth in the spring, which follows the root shedding that occurs over the winter. So similarly, if you allow your animals to graze your pastures down to nubs prior to winter, you will stall out the spring regrowth in your pastures. Now this also affects combating weeds in your hay because not only does cutting or grazing your hay too short in the fall decrease the yield that you can pull from that first cutting in the spring, it also increases weed growth which in turn increases the need to apply herbicides to take care of those weeds which increases your costs even further. Now in contrast to that, the quicker that you can get the grass growing in the spring, the more it will shade those weed seeds preventing germination in the first place. Likewise, just simply having that three to four inches of stubble when spring comes will do a much better job of shading those weed seeds until the spring top growth begins than it would if you cut that or, or grazed it down to two inches or less. So if you're trying to combat weeds, consider leaving that three to four inches of stubble and those critical carbohydrate reserves behind. You may find much less need for any herbicides at all and you'll receive the extra bonus of an early and or more productive first cutting. Now that concludes uh, this video and uh, this particular tip regarding cool season ha uh, grass hay production. 
But again, there's uh, considerably more information within this article on my blog. So if you would uh, click the link below this video, you'll find a number of additional tips to help you increase uh, your production. And uh, hopefully you'll find something that works out for you and uh, helps you increase your profits and, uh, and the benefits that, that you reap from, from being uh, a truly great individual uh, farming and raising animals and, and uh, taking care of, of those issues for those people who don't do those things. So uh, take care, have a great week, and I uh, hope to see you on the other side. Bye.